Now it's running okay? Yeah. Good. Go boggy, it's responsive. Good, good. Wow, this is beautiful. No, you just got some water on your pipe. Here's a good teaching opportunity. Um, you notice I took the inside line and I just bumped over that. You know, now you're off the bike, it doesn't look anywhere near as scary, does it? No. <laughs> but when you're when you're down there, it looks like a bit like a handful. I'm trying to follow your line so I can see where you're going. So what I did is right about here, my front tire got here, I started brapping. So the front was light over that. And then the tire the back will just follow you. Yeah, so I didn't get up enough, I hit that and then... That's right. So you were probably like two to three kilometers short on speed. Okay. Like walking speed more than what you were doing. You were probably just short of a slow jog kind of speed. So you need just a touch more than that. Let's get her up. And let's go down to the bottom. It's the easiest way. Yeah. And I'll show you a trick here. Level. So and there's the trick to get it down. You kind of... Bring it like this, right? The front comes down. See how I didn't have to pull? I gave it one little tug and gravity brought it down. And then I'm going to do some more. And I can pretty much start it here, turn around there. And I'll show you a couple tricks for turning. If I can get her going here. Second gear for most climbs is good. Okay. First is kind of spinny and jumpy, and you clutch it through in second. So just come up, get your speed about there, and keep that clutch feeding all the way. And even when you get on the top on the jumble of roots, if you have to paddle, just paddle with one foot on one peg. Okay. Keep the tire weighted. Okay. Go, go, go. Gas, 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 gas. Clutch, 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 clutch. You got it. Keep that clutch going. Keep the clutch, see how you started to spin and go sideways? Yeah. You could have kept the gas where it was and just kept clutching. Yeah. I'm not used to riding with rocks, it's scary. <laughs> the rocks scare the shit out of me. You'll get used to it quick. There's so many rocks here, but back there I was like. Oh, there's one every uh, inch here. The, yeah. the, the, the landscape is one giant rock. <laughs> nice. That's it. Hold on. When you get stuck like that, you'll never get over to back up about three feet and then you'll be able to bump over, okay? And what you wanna do, get your back tire that way a little bit. So just give it a good blip. You should bump right over that. You could paddle, but keep weight on one peg. And then just brrrr up. But more brap down there before you get to that rock. Are you ready? Use your back brake, use your back brake. Okay, ready? One, two, get, get your revs up, feed your clutch, then wait your bike and then go. More, go, 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 go. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Yeah. Atta boy, Sean. Momentum at the rock where he got stuck. It's very clear through the creek, there's no bumps. So get a handful, get going through the creek. You should have a good splash as you go through. And wrap it right here all the way up till you hit that rock and then you can almost just putt 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 paddle. That's it, go, 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 go now, go, go. Stay on the pegs, man.